Hey everybody, Mr. Marino here coming to you from room D202 at the Marshall Simons Middle School. Today is Wednesday, October 18th, and this is this week's midweek update. Well, here we are, week eight, I think. I don't know, week seven, week eight. Yeah, we're, we're at week eight. Week eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. Hello, everybody, we're here, and it's week eight. Some big news. Last week, we had our first real big official assessment, and it covered lessons one through five. Before you get too excited, I will say that the entire eight red did a really good job. Handful of people did a really, really good job. Some people did an okay job. Let's be honest, some people didn't do well. This is just honesty, and sometimes the truth hurts. But another truth that doesn't hurt is there's always another option. That's right, if you didn't do well on the quiz, have a conversation with me. I know who you are, you know how you did. We all had conversations at the end of class or during a private time during class where everyone knew what the grade is. It's also an Aspen. So, moving forward, if you do not do well on a quiz or an assignment, don't stress out. Reach out, talk to me in person, talk to me after school, talk to me in the morning, Talk to me in the email. Self-advocacy is a very healthy skill to have, especially if things are not going as expected. But to be honest with you, for those of you who may not have done well, it was kind of expected. That's right, some very sad news. The honeymoon is over. In the beginning of the year, everyone does a great job walking into class with their shoulders back and their chin up and Mr. Marino and yes sir and no sir and please and thank you. But at a certain point in the school year, we get a little bit comfortable with our teachers, we get comfortable being in the eighth grade and sometimes we don't try as hard as we once did. But don't worry, I'm here to remind you that sometimes this happens and it's okay, but it's not okay if you don't fix it. So reach out to me if you're not happy with the grade. We can discuss why the grade did not bring you happiness or I can discuss with you why your grade didn't bring me happiness and we can find a solution. Things don't go your way and your expectations are not met in science or life. Talking about a solution is the best way to go about it. You can always whine, don't whine. Instead, work a solution. Now, some people are asking me about extra credit. I've never been a big fan of extra credit. Sometimes the extra credit is assigned, but I prefer to worry about the normal credit. Why didn't you receive the normal credit? And in some situations, extra credit may be warranted, but in other situations, it might be a valuable life lesson to learn that if you don't put the work in, you're not gonna get the work done. Anyways, that's enough of the mushy-gushy business. Let's get back on target and talk about science class. During science, we're digging deep into Newton's laws of motion. We watched a really exciting YouTube video made by yours truly, which you can find in the link below, should you want some more scientific entertainment. That's right, in science, Mr. Marino believes about, did he just use third person? Yes, he did. Mr. Marino believes about the two E's, education and entertainment. And this week, we had both. We certainly did. We did the Newton's Toys Experiment. As always, we are in five groups and each group works together as a team. I gave each group a different toy. That toy did something. It rolled, it popped, it flopped, it dropped. Did I already say dropped? Students had a car, a poppy thing, a ball, a TikTok toy. No, not that TikTok. And a top. They played with those toys for approximately a minute. Some kids about two or three minutes. And they had to make a connection between one of Newton's laws to what that toy did. Later on in class, students had to find another law that later on in class, students independently had to find a second law that applied to that toy. And later that night for homework, students had to find the third law and how to connect that to the same exact toy. Moral of the story is any object that's in motion or not in motion applies to all three of Newton's three laws. In fact, yesterday in class, we spoke the whole time about how each law of motion applied to each toy. It was a really good conversation. A lot of people had very good questions. A lot of people had really good answers. And if you were sitting along with the ride and you were using your eyes and ears and you were paying attention, a lot of information came in. A lot of useful information, which will be useful on Friday, October 20th. We have our second quiz. And this next part, some of you might not like. You will not be able to use your notes. Don't worry, we're looking at about 10 to 15 questions. The first three questions are gonna be defining Newton's three laws of motion, which we should be able to do. We started that about a week and a half ago. Another four or five questions are gonna be about the exact toys that we played with in class and the homework assignment that you were supposed to do. It might be one or two math questions as well. That's right, today we went over a little bit of math and how it involved Newton's second law of motion force equals mass times acceleration. All in all, there'll be a little less hand-holding on this quiz and students will be responsible for studying. They should have started studying since the beginning of this week. If you have any questions, as usual, you know my policy. Don't stress out, reach out, and send me an email. Finally, another highlight of this week is students work together in groups to make consensus models 
to unpack all of the conversations we had about Newton's laws of motion and how they apply to all of those toys. All in all, we're having a great time in class, a lot of work is getting done, and a lot of grades are starting to pile up on Aspen. So, parents, don't forget to dibble. Parents, don't forget to... Sometimes I get stuck, I don't know. So parents, don't forget to check Aspen every once in a while, and if you have any questions, please encourage your students to reach out to me first. If it is a question or concern that you have to tell me, reach out. My laptop is open all day. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Well, that just about does it on this week's Mr. Marino Science Midweek Update. Thank you for everyone who's been liking and subscribing and smashing that alert button. I've received a handful of emails of parents saying some positive things about my weekly update vlogs. So thank you. Please keep the compliments coming, and I'll see you next week.